A story this week about a mother and two children drowning in the Rio Grande was saturated in the news cycle, but many of the initial headlines had the story wrong. Texas officials were blamed for physically barring and preventing federal officials from saving three migrants drowning near Eagle Pass. The headlines at the time were thought to have been accurate. Left-leaning news outlets cited early statements released by the White House and DHS spokespersons. But these claims were immediately refuted by the Texas military, who said the migrants died before Border Patrol contacted them. Now a filing from the Department of Justice confirms that, according to the court document, the three migrants had died an hour before federal officials made contact with state officials over the incident. So there was no helping or saving the migrants. They had already died and their bodies were recovered on Mexico's side of the Rio Grande by Mexican authorities. The confusion comes in at the entrance gate at Shelby Park, sitting directly across from the Rio Grande and Eagle Pass. This area used to be controlled by Border Patrol until last week. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said the federal government wasn't doing enough to stop the flow of people coming from Mexico into Texas at this section of the border. So now it's the Texas National Guard standing post telling Border Patrol agents we've got it, not allowing them into Shelby Park. The night of the incident when the three migrants died, Border Patrol still wanted inside the park area with reports of other migrants in distress. They were denied entry as Texas officials apprehended the other migrants. The Biden administration has asked the Supreme Court to intervene. The battle over who has jurisdiction could come to a head here at Shelby Park as state and federal agents stand off over who has rights to enforce the border. Thank <music> you.